Okay, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing an app review for you of this app that is called... Oh, phone's just died. It's called Metal Sniffer. I don't know if you can see it there. It's that one there. Let's get a few. Now, the name is pretty self-explanatory. It is a metal sniffer. What it does is it uses the magnetometer in the phone to detect metals. So if you want to go out on a treasure hunt, you can. So I'll just prove to you it works. Slide in a uh, MacBook here. So as you know, that is a metal object. And if you just place the phone near the metal, you can see the graph there moving up and down and if it gets too close the alarm goes off so <laughs> it's vibrating quite a lot there not sure if you can hear it, I'll place it down and get it to vibrate for you there so there you go, that uh, detects metal so there's, actually, I'll leave that there so I can show you um, there's a few little settings you can play with so if you hit the settings menu there let's try and focus this so you can see so hopefully you can see what's on the screen there. So you've got speed adjustments here, so all of these different ones. If we stick it on slow, and what you can see is that changes the speed that the little nodes appear on the graph there. So when you put it close to the metal, you can see they're moving up slower. If we change that to fastest, you can see they're really racing along there. Just get a bit of focus there. So you can see it's moving much quicker like that. I think the best one to go for is the normal one. You've got units to change here. So you can choose from the micro Tesla, the mini gauss or the gamma. You've also got four screen on if you don't have your screen timeout set long enough or if your phone likes to turn the screen off so you can keep looking, you can see decimals, spatial components, and you can define the alarm level. So you can put a number, anything above 200 micro Tesla here. I guess that changes when you set the unit you want. Just make sure you can see that there. So that's the number that it's gonna start vibrating at. And you can see the vibration settings here. You can enable it and turn the strength. And you've got data points here. So I've got it set to the default, which is 120. That's just the number of points that appear on the graph. So let's try something ridiculous like 900. Go back to the graph there and <laughs> you can see it's now going very, very slowly. So if we just stick it on the MacBook again and bring it away. You can see it's a very slow changement there. Just put that back to 120 because that's kind of slow there. Okay, another thing you can do is if you see at the top there it says recalibration. So if you press that, there's some instructions here. Let's try and focus that there so you can read that. It says essentially what you've got to do is put it in figure of eights for five times, both facing flat like this and then facing up like that, which will recalibrate it, which does work. So if you need to recalibrate, that's how you do it. Okay, so this app's kind of pointless because it doesn't really seem to detect anything that is too far away. So if we move the map right now, it kind of stays the same as if I put it underneath, so you can see it's moved up just a little bit there, but it's not really going to find you any treasure, so it's kind of more of just like a party trick app, but it's quite fun to have, so hope you enjoyed the video, and give it a like or a comment, thanks.